Good day, yogis, and welcome back onto the mat with me for today's yin yoga sequence. So for today's set, we're going to focus on a yin yoga sequence to relax and unwind. So perhaps you've had a really busy day and you feel a little bit scattered and all over the place. Then this very gentle 30 minute yin session is truly going to be ideal for you. So for today's practice, you're going to need a bolster or a couple of pillows and a yoga block or a brick or a thick book if you don't have one. So gather up your equipment and meet me on the mat. So let's begin our practice by bringing our palms to join, connecting the right and left hemispheres of the body. Beginning to rub the palms, generating some warmth. And then drawing the hands into your heart center. So connecting inward for a moment, closing your eyes. Lengthening up through your spine. Allowing yourself a few deep breaths here. Deeply inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Taking another deep inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, gently allowing your hands to drift down to the knees with the palms facing upward. Just checking in with how you've arrived on your mats. Allowing your shoulders to drift away from your ears. Lengthening up from the base of your spine. Just taking a moment here. Allowing yourself to feel into all that is around you. A few more deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, drawing the palms together to touch once more, again rubbing the palms, generating some warmth. And then drawing the palms over the eye sockets, allowing yourself to lengthen right up, warming and sending energy in through the eye sockets and skull. Let this be the beginning of our unwinding sequence. And we're going to move straight into the first posture, which is butterfly pose. So for this posture, you're going to draw your, the soles of your feet together to touch. You're not going to have the feet drawn right in towards the groin, but creating a lovely diamond shape. So feet are extended away from the body. Then you have the option to take your block and your bolster and create a lovely cushion for yourself to come forward on. If this is not appropriate or you don't have um, something like this, you can also um, see if you could draw the elbows down and let the hands um, cup the face. You can grab hold of your block, whatever is appropriate to you here. You can take that now as you come into butterfly pose, holding for the next three minutes. Allowing yourself to sink into the posture. Making sure you've rolled onto the sit bones here so you are able to fold forward appropriately and completely let go. Okay. 
Yin yoga is a practice of introspection, working on the Chinese meridian lines and restoring the flow of qi. So throughout the practice today, allow yourself to let this be a very meditative practice for you. And really allowing yourself to soften your body down into the ground. Taking a big inhale and a big sigh out on your exhale. Taking a little walk through the shape and noticing where you will be able to soften just that little bit more. And you can slowly begin to transition out of your butterfly pose by drawing your back body up. Removing whatever props or support that you had, drawing the knees together. Giving the legs a shake, so sending them away, feet away. Moving the legs from side to side and then swinging your legs around and coming up onto all fours into a tabletop position. And just taking a few moments here, just holding into this tabletop position and then gently drawing your knees out, sending the buttocks to the heels and dropping your forehead down towards the ground. Creating a diamond shape with your hands, allowing your head to sink down into the mat. Taking a last breath there, pressing the palms into the mat and allowing yourself to roll over onto the back body. So coming down, using your arms to help you dropping down onto the mat. Taking a deep stretch, arms up overhead. And then hugging your knees into your chest, coming into a reclined child's pose. So taking a little bit more of the stretch here, you can interlace your fingers over the knees and allow your arms to settle beside you as you just breathe deeply into the belly here, softening through the shoulders, Allowing yourself to feel supported and held by the space and ground beneath you. Once more, checking in with the posture, making sure that you are acknowledging and sticking to the three principles of yin yoga, which are to find an edge 
and usually we, ju we, we gauge this edge as a 5 to a 7 out of 10 in intensity. And then to hold the posture in complete stillness. So allowing that sense and feeling of meditation. And you can slowly drop the feet down onto the ground, send the legs away, draw your arms up overhead for a deep stretch. And then bring the buttocks into the heels. We're going to take a quick and short rebound counter pose in bridge. So beginning to raise the hips up towards the ceiling. <clears throat> Hands beside you, palms pressing down. Pressing both of your feet equally into the earth beneath you. So just really feeling into whatever's presented for you here. Now the deep breath. And then as you exhale, gently lowering your back body down onto the mat. Coming into a reclined figure of four. So taking the left ankle over the right knee, sending that knee away. And then we're going to thread the arms through to interlace over the shin and allow yourself to once more recline your head back down. So holding here for a couple of minutes. Taking a deep inhale and a big sigh breath out on your exhale. Softening through the feet. So really allowing yourself to gently release and let go into this shape. Allowing yourself a few more deep breaths here. Gently lowering the feet back down to the ground and moving over to the other side. So right ankle comes above the left knee, drawing the head up and the hands through to interlace fingers over the shin or the thigh, whichever is suitable for you. 
and then dropping the head down once more. And again, relaxing into the stretch. Again, feeling into your body, noticing any present sensation, allowing yourself to focus on your breath as you inhale and exhale through your nose. Fully experiencing the shape that you're in accepting wherever it is that your body feels this position and where the work is being done in this position. Gently dropping your feet down onto the ground, sending the legs away, taking a stretch, just shifting energy through the body and then slowly hugging the knees into the chest once more, keeping the right knee hugged in. Let's send the left leg up and away, all the way back down onto the mat, allowing the heel to press in to the ground. We're going to take the right knee over to the left side, so rolling over, holding onto the knee. <clears throat> and then from here, we can send the bottom foot out and grab hold of it. So coming into a little bit of a variation of cat pulling its tail, and then allowing yourself to settle here into the pose. And just feeling into whatever is presented for you. Slowly allowing yourself to unclasp the leg, roll back onto the back body, hugging that knee back into the chest, joining both knees in for a little rock as you send the right leg up and away, allowing it to touch back down onto the ground, beginning to draw your right knee over towards the left side. And then again, once you get there and you've got a nice grip onto that leg, sending the bottom foot over and then gripping and trying to keep those shoulders down and feeling into that stretch. Softening your body and 
keeping your awareness on the breath. Gently unfolding yourself from the posture. Hugging the knees into the chest one more time, taking a gentle rock from side to side, just decompressing through the spine. And finally, we're going to come into happy baby. So sending the soles up towards the ceiling, grabbing hold of the feet and allowing your whole back body to press down into the ground Taking a moment as well to just tuck your chin into your chest and softening here. Once more, dropping anchor and returning to the place of stillness, allowing yourself to completely relax and let go. Slowly hugging the knees back into the chest, taking a last gentle rock from side to side. As you send your legs down and away, drawing arms up overhead, and then allowing yourself to rest and settle into corpse pose, shavasana. So again, today's practice was really all about unwinding, de-stressing. So a beautiful short practice that can assist and aid you after a long day. Allow yourself to either stay in Shavasan or you can join me at the top of the mat or in a seated pose by hugging or sorry by stretching the arms up overhead and hugging the knees into the chest. Slowly rolling up, tucking the chin coming back up into a seated position, allowing yourself to once more check in by bringing the palms into heart center. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, bow the nose down to the tips of your fingers, taking a moment to acknowledge yourself. For you are whole and complete. Wishing you a truly beautiful day further. Namaste.